So the bell will ring solemnly on our final night. That's important because there's a bell up here. Yes, it's a clue. But last time we tried to ring the bell, we couldn't because the bell was rusty. But now that we have an oil can, we can change... Oh, there's a bat. <laughs> Look, bat. You scared away a bat. That's nice. I didn't know <laughs> I didn't know that was in there. Okay, um, oil bell. Oiling the rusted bell may have loosened it. Uh, go down. Um, pull rope with cane. You're not close enough. Hi, Ethel. Um, this isn't good. I, hmm, okay, let's see. But, no, 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 no. Ah, what? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Now you're a real southern belle. Ha ha ha. Okay. I know you're supposed to... Oh, maybe I... Maybe I do it from here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, you pull... There. Whew, that was close. Look, bell. No, bell. Okay. What's that attached to the bell? Hmm. It's some sort of metal crank. Take crank. Okay. Thinking it might be useful, you remove the crank from the bell and take it with you. Take bell. You could never carry around that big bell, but we can carry around a crowbar. So, okay, so that was uh, one part of the note. The other part to remember, uh, that's important to remember, was the Sir Lancelot will forever salute us or watch over us or something like that. So, we'll go back into the house. This way. Uh huh. Yeah, see? The knight. Uh, look, armor. Okay, although it's well polished, all of its joints are completely rusted. But now that we have oil, we can change this too. So, oil helmet. Okay. Now, open helmet. You carefully open the armor's visor and peek inside. You see a small metal valve handle hanging by a hook inside the armor's helmet. You grab the valve handle. You also see an old yellowed note pasted on the inside of the helmet. Curious about the note, you read it. It says, Our dearest daughter Sarah, We knew you would know to look in the armor. This war is terrible. We fear our end is near. In case you're not the only one to find this note, we won't give away too much. Give too much away. Use this valve handle with your favorite water nymph. Don't ever forget, we love you very much. Love forever, Papa and Mama. Aww. Well, now we're finding out all their secrets. I feel kind of bad. That's okay. Okay, so next. We need to go upstairs. the colonel's room. There he is. And although the game gives you no indication that we should do this, we have to go spy on him. So let's go. Look holes. Oh, he can walk. How odd. So he's been faking his injury this 
entire time. But why? Guess we'll never know. Or will we? Next, we have to go into Rudy and Clarence's room. This ain't for you, kid. They're not gonna say anything. So, spy time. Who is this so-called director that Gloria is seeing now? Why, I ought to punch his lights out for getting between me and my gal. Gloria was never your gal. Just because she went out with you a few times, you thought you owned her. Well, I got news for you, buddy. My sister doesn't need to settle for the likes of you. As a matter of fact, you are nothing but a mere deliance for her. Deliance? Ha! Huh. Well, you're the one who can't make a commitment to anyone. You're just trying to sink to, uh, Gloria down to your lousy level. You ain't good enough to kiss the ground she walks on. You're nothing but a low-class jerk. Looks like I went too fast. Quit butting in between me and Gloria. This is none of your business. I'll handle it the way I want, and I won't be asking your permission. I'm warning you, Jack. If, you see, if I see you near my sister again, I'll cut you up in little pieces and feed it to the dog. Got it? Glide. It's like he's on wheels. Let's go. Clarence, are you okay? He's asleep. It's very interesting snoring sounds, if you can hear it. So, we'll go back to the colonel's room, because I think he'll be gone. Right? No. What? Um... Well, I don't know what to do. We'll be right back. 